G'day, I'm Mark from Tasmanian Off-Road Adventures. In this video, I'm doing a comparison between the Victron Energy 75 slash 15 MPPT solar controller up against the Maxray MPPT controller and also the Ridge Rider PWM solar controller. So everyone keeps telling me that I should toss the PWM controller on my Ridge Rider uh, solar blanket, toss it and get myself a good quality MPPT controller. So I did. I bought the Victron Energy 7515 controller. Uh, it cost me, I think it was about 115 bucks on eBay. It was actually on special. Uh, there's a 7510, so the 75 is the maximum voltage you can take, which we're not anywhere near 75 volts. We're down sort of more like 1820. Uh, and the 10, or in this case the 15, is how many amps it can handle. Now, the 7510 was about 15 bucks cheaper. Um, now, I wasn't sure exactly on which panels I was going to use this controller, so I thought I'd get the bigger one. I've got three different solar setups. I've got 160 panel on top of the Hilux canopy. I've got this folding panel, which is 100 watts in total, and I've got this uh, Ridge Rider 150 watt solar blanket. So I've got a few different setups. Uh, wasn't 100% sure where I was going to use it. I'm pretty sure where I know where I'm going to use it now after doing the test. Yeah, everything I've read on the internet tells me that a good quality MPPT controller should be about 30% more efficient than a PWM controller. So that's what part of this test is. I want to see if that's actual fact. And the other thing I want to do is I want to test it against this El Cheapo uh, Maxray MPPT controller. I'm not sure you can buy this one separately at all. Uh, it actually came on these solar panels and they kind of stuffed up a bit when they sent them to me because they actually sent two of these uh, the controller so uh, I did have one in the Hilux that's another story I'll do another video on sometime uh, so I just wanted to see the difference also between a, a cheap MPPT controller and a good quality Victron Energy controller now I actually filmed the actual test video itself a few weeks ago I'm only just getting around to filming an intro and a conclusion video so I'm going to kick over to the um, the actual test video in a moment. Now what I've done just to explain uh, what's going on, so what I did was I got a battery, I separated these two panels and I ran uh, one side, so 50 watts through this uh, Maxray MPPT controller and 50 watts through the Victron Energy one. I ran them for an hour, uh, the panels are side by side, in the video you'll see how much sun was out. Now I also rigged up this little test rig here with these lights. Now the reason for doing that was to draw some power out of the battery uh, so these two controllers didn't go into float mode. So I was trying to draw more power out of the battery than what was going in and it worked pretty well. Now the other thing I did to, uh, no I ran, sorry, I ran the, both of those for one hour and got the results and then what I did to, I then did the test again and I compared the Victron Energy and the Ridge Rider controller again over an hour. So we'll go to that video now and have a look and see what I did. Rightio, here's the test rig set up. I want to show you what's going on here. I've got a couple of LED headlights pulling approximately 8.7 amps. That's to keep a bit of load on the battery so the two solar chargers don't go into float mode. So we have up first, this has been on just for an hour. I'll just do this as best I can without while we're trying to keep focus. But it's a mostly clear day. In the last hour, I've had these both hooked up for an hour. Um, in that hour, it's been mainly sunny. There's been some patches of cloud. So I'd probably say, at a rough guess, probably 75% clear sky and about 25% cloud. So we'll see how much these have been putting out. Get a close up in there. And I'm reading at the moment it's putting in 4.4 amps, 4.5 amps, which is awesome. And what have we got there? 2.45 amps, 30.8 watts in the last hour. We'll go over to our max ray and see what we've got there. And at the moment that's putting in three point, about 3.6 and in total 1.19 amp hours, 22.4 watts. Welcome back, hopefully that video made sense. Uh, so what I've done is over the one hour period tested these two 
uh, solar controllers against each other, both running off identical 50 watt panels side by side. Now, what I came up with was over the one hour period, the Victron Energy produced 30.8 watt hours. Uh, that's how much power it put into the battery. The Max Ray put in 22.4 watt hours. Now, if you get the calculator and work that out, uh, the Victron controller was 37.5% uh, more efficient, or we'll put in 37.5% more power into the battery than what this Max Ray did. So, so far in these tests, this is way, way out in front. Next test to do, I did the exact same identical test, but I disconnected this one. I connected this one up to this panel and was able to do the exact same test. Now, somewhat surprisingly, the Ridge Rider actually did perform better. The Ridge Rider PWM controller did perform better than the Max Ray MPPT controller. And the results from that were uh, over that one hour, the Victron Energy put in 29.8 watt hours into the battery and the Ridge Rider put in 23.3 watt hours. And once again, if you get the calculator out, the Victron Energy puts in 28% more power into the battery than what the Ridge Rider PWM does. So what does all that mean? It means clearly that the Victron Energy controller is much better than the two cheaper controllers. I kind of knew that was going to happen. That's what everyone told me was going to happen. I had so many people recommend the Victron Energy Controller. Uh, I thought it was a no-brainer to get that one. And I knew it would be about that 30%, or from what I'd read, I thought it was going to be about that 30% more power into the battery, uh, certainly over PWN, PWM, and then also over the crappy MPP controller uh, from MaxRay. So realistically, what that means is I'm going to get, let's say, 30% more power out of the same solar panels into the battery with a Victron Energy controller as to what I will do over a cheaper PWM or a cheap MPT, MPPT controller. Now, theoretically, if I had this controller hooked up to a 100 watt panel, because this is 30% more efficient, I would be getting the same wattage into a battery as what I would do with a cheap controller with a 130 watt panel. Then if I was to sort of weigh up and say, well, hold on, what's the difference between a 100 watt panel and a 130 watt panel? What's the price difference? And is that price difference as much as a Victron Energy controller? The answer is probably not. Now, I already had this uh, foldable panel anyway. I've had this for a few years now. Uh, so I'm certainly not going to go out and buy a 130 watt panel just for the fun of it. As I said, it did cost me 115 bucks, but there's another reason that you should invest in a good quality MPPT solar controller. And that is that I said at the start of the video, I got actually two of these. I put one in the Hilux uh, and connected it to the 160 watt panel that charges the auxiliary battery uh, in the Hilux and it ruined the battery. Uh, it was putting out about 17 volts, uh, which I was really, when I say putting out 17 volts, I mean putting 17 volts out of this into the battery. Uh, and it actually fried the battery. It cost me over 200 bucks to get a new deep cycle battery. Now, if I had have bought this, assuming that this one would actually work properly, and I think it will, then this one would have actually saved me money. So that's another reason uh, to go with a good quality controller. Uh, I already went through the sort of pros and cons and weighing up the cost of bigger panels versus a better quality controller. But in my book, you'd go with a better controller every time uh, just for that peace of mind, knowing that it's gonna work better than this piece of crap, basically, that's probably worth about 10 bucks, if that, uh, maybe 15 off eBay. So 
all in all, uh, I hope this video has actually uh, showed you something. Hopefully I've achieved uh, what I set out to, or well, I think I've achieved what I set out to achieve and prove that, well, not to prove so much, but actually to see if all the stuff I've read on the internet is actually correct and if this is actually around 30% more efficient uh, than cheaper controllers, and it is. So uh, I'm really happy. I've made up my mind where I'm going to use this now. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Actually, I haven't made up my mind. I'm not sure. I'm not going to use it in the uh, in the Hilux because I've got so something else in plan for that. Uh, I may use it. I'm not sure actually. Either that one or this one. I'm going to throw this one out. I'm not interested in that at all anymore. I'm done with it uh, after the debacle with the last one. Um, so, but uh, look, I might end up even buying another one. Maybe a 7510. I'm not sure. I'll work it out later. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Uh, hopefully it made sense and hopefully um, it gives you some information, some sort of insight into buying a solar panel or a solar controller. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Click like, subscribe uh, and check out uh, more upcoming videos on my YouTube channel.